Crude oil in stock tanks contains salts. These salts must be separated from the crude oil before processing. The salts in crude oil are mainly in the form of magnesium, calcium, and sodium chloride. With sodium chloride being the most abundant, these salts can exist in two forms, dissolved or crystallized and suspended solids in emulsified water droplets in crude oil as a water in oil emulsion. The process begins by mixing the crude crude oil with the appropriate amount of wash water, also known as dilution water. The wash water is a volume percent of the crude oil processed can release between 3% and 10%, depending on the API gravity of the crude oil, the heavier the crude the more water is required. This mixture then goes to the desalinator, a horizontal cylindrical tank that provides long enough residence time to separate the water and oil mixture in two phases. Some water droplets are so small in diameter that they cannot be separated by gravity. Therefore, an electrostatic field between the two electrodes placed in the desalter is used to promote coupling. Due to the bipolar nature of the water molecule, this electric field promotes an attraction with other water molecules in neighboring droplets, which promotes coalescence. AC or DC fields can be used and potentials between 12,000 and 35,000 volts are used. Salts in crude oil, magnesium, calcium and sodium chloride are separated from the crude oil along with water. These water and salts are stored in a separate tank. The gas in the oil comes out from the upper region and this gas is passed through a filter and given to the atmosphere. The system works as a continuous feed. Thus, before the crude oil enters the refinery process, it is cleaned of heavy pollutants and water. The crude oil separated from the pollutants from the subregion is sent to the refinery storage tanks. The crude oil stored in the refinery storage tanks is now ready for processing at the refinery. An ideal crude oil content for the process. The crude oil is sent to the universal heating furnace, which is the first unit of the refinery. In a crude oil refinery, the process begins with the atmospheric distillation arm. Crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbon molecules containing 1 to 60 carbon atoms. Compounds in the range of 5 to 20 carbon atoms are separated from crude oil in an atmospheric distillation unit. In the crude oil heating furnace, the crude oil is heated up to 270 degrees. The heated crude oil evaporates and the steam is sent to the atmospheric distillation tower. Light products are taken from the upper region of the atmospheric distillation tower and thicker products are taken from the lower region. First of all, the crude oil taken into the reactor is heated continuously by the swirl pump by passing through the swift evaporator. The heated crude oil evaporates and is sent from the vapor separator to the distillation column. This process continues continuously. The reactor equipped with level indicators adds crude oil to the reactor with automatic valves at the evaporation rate. In the reactor, the crude oil remains at the same level all the time. Crude oil heated to 270 degrees evaporates, which shows us the decomposition of gasoline, corrosive and diesel fuel in the crude oil. While the evaporated products are sent to the distillation arm for processing, the non-evaporated crude oil is sent to the thin film evaporator module, which is the other module. The evaporated crude oil is separated into fractions in the distillation tower. Gasoline is taken from the upper part of the distillation tower. Kerosene is taken from the middle part of the distillation tower and diesel fuels are taken from the lower part. 
Thus, fine volatiles are removed from the crude oil. In the bottom region of the distillation column, there are lubricating oils and asphalt compounds. This is because lubricating oil and asphalt do not evaporate at 270 degrees. Fuels are sent to the filter unit. The lubricating oil and asphalt mixture is sent to the thin film evaporator module for redistillation with strong vacuum. In the process up to this point, oil is separated into four products. These products gasoline, kerosene diesel it is a mixture of oils and asphalt as fuel fractions and from the lower part of the distillation arm. Gasoline, kerosene and diesel are sent to the filter and blending units. The lubricating oil and asphalt mixture is sent to the vacuum distillation module for separation. This is the starting unit of a more complex operation. Before being sent to the blending module, the gasoline passes through the filter and is then blended with the necessary additives according to the laboratory values and sent to separate storage tanks. Before being sent to the kerosene blending module, it passes through the filter and is then blended with the necessary additives according to the laboratory values and sent to separate storage tanks. Before being sent to the diesel blending module, it passes through the filter and is then blended with the necessary additives according to the laboratory values and sent to separate storage tanks. After the gasoline, kerosene and diesel are removed from the crude oil, the remaining product is sent to the thin film evaporator module operating under vacuum high vacuum. Thin film evaporator is a flash distillation equipment with an external heat jacket and a rotating drum inside. After the fuels are removed, the lubricating oil and asphalt remain in the crude oil content. In this module, the base oil evaporates at 300 and 310 degrees under high vacuum and the thin film rises from the evaporator body. While the base oil vapor passes through the sequential type special condensers, it passes into the liquid phase. Since the asphalt cannot evaporate, the thin film flows down the evaporator body and is sent to the storage tank. In this module, lubricating oil and asphalt are separated. Mineral oil and asphalt are separated in the thin film evaporator. Only the mineral oil produced in this module does not meet the Group 1 base oil standards. Distillation method was used in the sections up to this part of the refinery. However, the pollutants that cannot be separated in the mineral oil by the distillation method are sent to the solvent extraction module, which is the other module, where the contaminants in the mineral oils are separated in a different process. With advanced selective purification technology, Liquid-liquid extraction with polar solvents such as N-methyl-2-pyrrolidin (NMP) is performed to separate polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heteroatomic compounds. Mineral oil and solvent coming from the thin film evaporator are passed through the heating equipment and sent to the solvent extraction tower. Solvent is sent from the upper part of the tower. Mineral oil is sent from the lower part of the tower. Micron mixers in the internal structure of the solvent extraction tower mix the solvent and mineral oil. After mixing, the contaminants in the mineral oil pass into the solvent. Solvent and pollutants, extract, come out from the bottom area of the extraction tower. Solvent and extract are sent to the thin film evaporator module for separation. 
Here, the solvent and the extract are separated with a temperature of 210 degrees. The extract is sent to a separate warehouse. The solvent is sent back to the solvent storage tank for reuse. The general purpose here is to prevent solvent loss because the cost of the solvent is high. Base oil is taken from the upper region of the solvent extraction tower. The base oil taken from the upper region contains 5% solvent. The base oil and solvent are separated by sending the thin film to the evaporator module. Solvent is sent to the solvent stock tank for reuse. The base oil is stored in a separate storage tank. Here, a Group 1 base oil quality product is produced from petroleum. The base oil produced after the process in accordance with the standards is sent to the vacuum distillation column. Here, Group 1 is separated into base oil fractions. The base oil passing through the heater is evaporated and the fine product SN150 base oil is separated from the upper part of the distillation column. The middle product, SN300, is separated from the middle part of the distillation arm. Thick product SN500 is separated from the distillation lower zone. The base oils separated into different fractions are sent to the blending tanks, blended with the additives according to the desired product quality, and sent to the packaging unit.